Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Pantura's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm aqua to you. Are you ready? Are you really ready to cook something with me? Today we'll be making some spaghetti stir fry and this, trust me, is a very, very delicious recipe and I hope you are able to try this. I know you will love it. So to start this recipe, I'm just cutting up my chicken and this is chicken breast. And this time around, I got the chicken breast already portioned out, the skin removed and everything. Because you know what, that is the only one I found at that time in the store. Typically, I'll buy my chicken breast with a skin on, bony or whatever. Because it's cheaper that way and then I'll cut it up myself. If you've watched my chicken salad recipe, you see that's what I did. But anyway, so I'm just trying to cut these into a little bit of kind of thin strips. Trying to get rid of the fatty parts as I do this. And really there's not that much fat down here so that makes it a lot easier to work with. So this is a simple meal, you know, you're almost using staples in your fridge. You know, chicken breast is something that I normally keep because it's easy to make quick fried rice with that or I just like to make uh, kebabs with this as well and it cooks so fast in no time you're done cooking your chicken so anyway I finished my chicken I've transferred it into a bowl and I'm going to need some ginger to marinate it so I'm going to be grating some ginger feel free to blend or whatever way you want it to get it this way but I prefer to uh, grate the ginger especially in my stir fry so that is what I'm doing right now and then I'm going to add some to my chicken and I'll also be saving some for the actual stir fry and I cannot stress enough to you guys how essential freshly grated ginger or I don't know like I said whichever way you want it but fresh ginger added to your stir fries and fried rice I can't stress enough the amazing transformation it brings to your recipes no matter what don't follow my recipe if you don't want to but just add that grated ginger to your stir fries your fried rice and I know you will be a believer trust me I've done this several times and everybody loves my fried rice not for anything I know it's just really that freshly grated ginger makes a big difference. So anyway, I have some garlic. I'm mincing my garlic. I'm going to be using that on the chicken as well. So this is my garlic mincer and it works pretty good. So when I want to have my garlic into fine pieces, I use the mincer instead of chopping it or using my other chopper that I showed you the other time and it works beautifully. It's easy, quick and you're done. So I have that ready and I'm now gonna go ahead and chop up my onions. So I left a little bit of the onion. I wasn't planning to use that whole onion for the stir fry. I think this is good enough because remember I have some scallions here and those are going to go in as well. So all these beautiful ingredients have been washed already and so in me prepping them I'm just gonna you know remove the parts that I don't need like the roots of these scallions which I just chopped off and so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it up the way I want to be in my stir fry So I'm just going to put them uh, in this bowl, set it aside, and I'll proceed to cut up the peppers as well. But before we do the peppers, let's marinate this chicken because I almost forgot about that. And you want it to sit aside a little bit, you know, soak up the juices of the marinade. So when you cook it, that stir fry is going to be lit, lit. We want the lituation to be big, you know. <laughs> anyway, so I have some salt on my chicken breast now I've added some soy sauce and I'm going to go ahead and add my minced garlic and some of my grated ginger so about um, a half of the amount of ginger that I grated and all the garlic onto my chicken with a soy sauce and some salt and I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up and set it aside so it can do its own magic on itself let this work on itself 
whilst we go ahead and chop up the rest of our veggies. This, trust me, is going to be good, delicious, yummy. <laughs> you will really love this. Simple, but so good. So good. That soy sauce and the ginger and garlic on here. Hmm. Amazing. Amazing. So there we go. All done. And I'm going to set this aside and focus on my veggies again. So like I said before, these are already washed. And so in cutting them up, I'm just going to try to deseed it as I cut up, uh, up the tops. And that's all I'm doing. And then I'm just going to try to cut them as thinly as I can. So I'm slicing these peppers and that is how I want them to be in the stir fry. You can chop them, you know, in cubes or whatever, depending on how you want it. But I thought that the slices look beautiful, you know, a lot better. It goes along with the skinny spaghetti, you know. As much as I like to uh, be prepping, you know, working on my vegetables as I cook, with a stir fry, you pretty much can't do that because you don't want to, you know, you're cooking this very quickly and normally under high heat. And you can be doing that and, you know, start and be chopping your vegetables. So mostly I start off by having my, the most part of my vegetables at least prepared and maybe the ones that go in way later if I'm going to put stuff like cilantro or anything that goes in and then you turn off the heat. That maybe if I'm trying to save time. I could, you know, do that whilst everything else is, the stir fry is going on. But for the most part, you want to have everything ready like I'm trying to do now. So the white parts of the peppers, I don't know, I think my camera is not catching it for you. But the very white parts, I try to trim them off, you know, cut them out before I slice the peppers. Just for presentation's sake, you don't really have to do that, but it works, it helps. And just like that, we are almost done with our peppers, yay. Feel free to add some carrots or anything I was considering, and I'm like, you know what, I think this is enough vegetables, but you could put some carrots in there. I typically would put some carrots in there as well, or whatever kind of vegetables you want. This is a stir fry, so what veggies you like, throw them in here and it's still going to be delicious. So I'm done with everything and I'm going to start uh, getting my water ready for the spaghetti. So I have a bowl of water here. I'm going to cover and bring it to a boil. And whilst it cooks, I also have my pan here. It's already heated up. And so I'm adding in some oil and this time around I'm using avocado oil and I'm really loving it. I didn't really plan getting avocado oil, but in this craze, I went to Sam's Club and trust me, I couldn't find any uh, canola oil. I normally would get canola and extra virgin olive oil, but I couldn't find canola oil. So I got myself extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil. I was like, whatever I find, I'm just going to stock up on it and I'm loving it. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of this avocado oil. So anyway, it heated up. And so now I'm just adding my chicken, my marinated chicken in here. It pretty much got about 20 minutes of marination. And so that is, that is good enough. But, uh, if you have enough time, you know, you probably would want to do it for longer. The longer any meat marinates, the better it is anyway. So I have it cooking on almost high heat, not very high. I would say medium, and I'm just going to let it cook. Uh, for about five minutes undisturbed before I try to stir it. And that way you know you want your chicken to cook beautifully because the moment you stir it, you, you just uh, mess with the heat distribution and you don't get that kind of sear that you want. And even I am telling you, but trust me, I, I wasn't patient enough. This is about probably four minutes. I was so scared I was going to burn it, but it's perfect. And so I'm just going to leave it, not stir it anymore, and wait a while for it to cook some more before I, I try to mess with it. So an extra three minutes later, and I am ready to come in and give this a stir. And just look at how beautiful this is cooking. You see that sear, that golden sear on the chicken? beautiful and that is how you want it to be so I'm just gonna go ahead and stir up a little bit and try and stir and I'm trying to make sure the parts that are not cooked yet go to the bottom of the pan you know 
hit so that the heat hits it uh, directly and then I'll leave it to cook some more before I stir again. And look at all those juices being brought out, you know, being pulled into the pan from the meat. And this, huh, it smells good. It really does. Like, very simple ingredients, but I tell you, fresh ginger on your meat. Like, you know, even back home, our moms, my mom would never make any fresh meat food like soup or stew without adding ginger to it it really works some magic onto your meat so at this point it has cooked to the point where i can just go ahead stir its association uh-huh gather here this is our chance you know now we can stir all we want <laughs> and that is our favorite part right so i have my um my water boiling for the spaghetti and so i'm gonna go ahead and in no time, I'm just going to go ahead and cook the spaghetti. And we are using whole grain spaghetti or whole wheat spaghetti pasta in this. So this is a more uh, healthy option, wholesome meal that we are making. And feel free to use white, but I'm really using what is available in my pantry at this point. Uh, my kids, they're not so crazy about the whole wheat. So I normally save that to make spaghetti jollof, but hopefully they'll eat this one. So I've added some salt into my boiling water some oil and that is more of the avocado oil and now I'm gonna go ahead and put, cook my spaghetti in here feel free to break it if you want but I normally like my spaghetti to be longoligi you know <laughs> very long <laughs> unbroken I like to eat it that way so here we go and I give it a stir because like I said you don't want it to be a hot mess one big glob you want to stir it first before you cover it to boil and whilst I'm doing that my chicken is cooked now and I'm going to bring it out of the pan so I have a bowl here I'm scooping everything out into that and then we'll start working on our vegetables oh such delicious juice I had to taste it and it smells good too I can't wait to eat this like really so anyway I've poured in my some more oil and that is more of the avocado oil in here and I just let it heat up a little bit and I'm adding in my peppers at this point and so yes the stir fry has begun the actual stir fry and we start in with our peppers and so this is cooking on high heat you know nowhere close to uh, low heat so I would say medium to high heat and that is how you want it this is like a quick quick part of the cooking process and so I give it a good stir and at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my ginger so I'll be pushing my peppers to the side and then I'll add in my grated ginger that is the secret the secret to an amazing stir fry you can use this kind of ginger or ginger paste and but so far as this fresh ginger ginger powder really doesn't cut it as much but on days that i had I, would, I don't have fresh ginger i've tried it it's better than nothing like really so if you can find fresh ginger root yeah try the powder it still will give you a lot more improvement on whatever way you used to make your stir fry or fried rice so i'm just giving this a stir letting it work it's magic in here and it's smelling amazing already, amazing. Typically, I would put um, a Maggie shrimp tablet in here, but I really don't have one, and I'm really enjoying the fact that I don't have it at home to be tempted to use it. Uh, so I actually put in some pepper chili flakes in here, and I'm adding in some white pepper at this point, and then a little bit more soy sauce. So that is gonna make up a little bit for the, the shrimp tablet that I don't have, and that works. So a lot of you have been asking me why I don't use a lot of um, seasoning cubes and the rest. And in all honesty, it's because my dad, um, he had cancer and towards the end of his life, you know, we tried to change his diet completely. We changed a lot of his meals, my sister especially. She researched and, you know, there were so many things that we made changes to in his diet and of course, we wouldn't put any of these seasoning cubes. Everything had to be all natural. And towards the end of his life, he was here with me. So it really changed my way of cooking. I, I, I totally stopped putting cubes in my food. So every now and then you will see me introduce 
a cube in my recipe but I try once I ran out I tried to stay away from it as long as I can you know and really it's only a few uh, recipes that really call for the seasoning cube that I would say I really miss it but for the most part it works it's still delicious still delicious really so anyway whilst I was you know ranting I added my chicken breast in here back into the vegetables because at that point it was ready you know the vegetables you don't want to overcook it and now the spaghetti is done too so the spaghetti I think I cooked it for about almost 10 minutes because this is whole wheat and it's you know it's gonna be a little bit harder and these kids you know it's hard for you to make them eat anything apart from the un <laughs> unhealthy stuff sometimes really so here we are all cooked and guys can you see that I had a combination of spaghetti and linguine you know I don't know how I did that but I guess when I was so busy trying to get my pantry organized and doing my spaghetti in those containers I just happened to put both linguine and spaghetti in there well it still cooked beautifully and it's, it's still gonna bring uh, the desired texture and everything in there so I don't think it really matters but you could choose to use spaghetti or linguine whichever one you have it still works so I just strained it and made sure it had no liquid because this is a stir fry you don't want it to be runny or anything so it's almost like completely dry and right away I transferred it into my vegetable and chicken mix and this stir fry is already lit lit the colors are popping we just need to add in that sliced red onions and the scallions and we will be good to go so here are my scallions on now I just put them in here now and the red onions follow suit and I'm just gonna dump them in here but I'm trying to flick it up a little bit so you have them coming on there you know in tian tian slice slice as somebody will say swine swine <laughs> I know I'm a clown. I am a clown sometimes. Yeah, you want those onions to be swan swans, you know, <laughs> on there. And that linguine trying to escape, and I'm like, hey, get back there, get back there. <laughs> and so here we are. Yeah, well, really, it's really good to be able to talk about my dad and still be in a good mood here, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> we grieve, but we move on, I guess. And this is looking beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, and it tastes amazing. So I tasted it for salt, and I think I need just a little bit more salt. And remember, I hope uh, you remember I put some salt, a little bit of salt in the water to boil the spaghetti. So all I need is just a little bit more salt in this air fry, and our lunch is going to be done. Beautiful, gorgeous. Smells good, looks beautiful. The colors, oh, like I, I can never say enough. I love color. I love it on my clothes. I love it in my food. I love it around my house. But trust me, I can never put as much color on myself or anywhere else as I can put in my food. Yes, yeah, eat the rainbow if you can. Not the healthiest of eaters, like really, I know, but my veggies. I do love and guys just like that lunch is served it's popping it smells good it tastes amazing amazing and I really hope you're able to try this your family they will be thankful your guests they will want you to invite them to your house on the daily and this is not an expensive meal you could serve them and let them take some home and they will be very very thankful Thanks for doing this with me. Thanks for the love. Thanks for being so supportive. Kindly continue to tell your friends and family about Contrast Kitchen. Yeah, tell them about that girl. She cooks with love, love. Cooking is a delight, a joy around here. So until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.